So for the engineering team, there are three areas of focus for the 2025 release. We worked on concrete connections, improved connection cubes, and more forced connections. Let's start with the changes we made to concrete connections. The number one goal was to increase the speed of process. If you have a job, if you have experience with a job like the project we see here, where there's a single concrete wall element that goes around the entire perimeter of the job, you know that changing one beam can result in a process that takes minutes. We wanted to make a significant improvement to that. We also found a list of small improvements that we could make to the connections themselves. The most common user request for concrete connections was the speed up process. We did this by changing the way that members are marked for process. In the past, if you changed a beam that framed to a concrete wall, that beam, the concrete wall, and all other members framing to that wall were marked for process. So if you had a long and tall wall in your job, changing a single beam could cause most of your job to process. We recognize that changing a beam that framed to a wall could change the wall, but we couldn't come up with a way that it could change the other beams framing to that wall. Like in this figure, there's no way that we can change the beam on top that would result in the bottom beam also changing. So we changed the marking for process to end at the wall, reducing the number of members that are processed with each edit. After this change, we took some timings and a job like the one that was pictured on that last slide, changing a single beam takes almost two minutes in version 2024. And in version 2025, the same change takes under two seconds.